So, Samsung just announced a whole flurry of new and exciting laptops, with the top of the line one being the most interesting and capable of the lineup. This is the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Ultra. Let's go over the raw stats. The Galaxy Book 4 Ultra is the creme de la creme of Samsung's laptop lineup, sporting incredible processing power in a thin and light form factor, with this year's model starting at $2,400, which is quite the hefty price. Let's see if it's worth it. For the form factor, the laptop sports a large 16-inch 16x10 Dynamic AMOLED 2X display, which is, wow quite the description. But in other words, that means that it'll look really good using the technology that's found in the Galaxy phones. Moreover, it's also touchscreen, so you can definitely use some of the other new exciting features that come with this device. More on that momentarily. But it also has a 120Hz refresh rate, so it's super speedy looking as well. Let's talk about that connectivity. Samsung has been very proud about this laptop's port selection, and yeah, it's pretty good. A pretty vast array of different ports with the inclusion of even a USB-A. So that's very helpful for those with older accessories. And on top of that, a micro SD card slot plus HDMI which are great. Could use maybe an extra USB-C for charging, but this one does come with quick charge. So I'm pretty content with the selection overall. Now for the internal specs, this device is meant to be the flagship for Samsung. So it's gotta be good. And it is. We're looking at Intel Core Ultra chips with also dedicated graphics cards, which Thank goodness. Integrated graphics cards just really limit the laptop's capabilities and make it hard to justify the price. So thank goodness this one comes with a dedicated GPU. We have NVIDIA GPUs with this laptop that you can even upgrade when configuring it on the website. Good stuff. Now for storage though, eh, it's okay. Remember, this is $2,400, so you know, not cheap. And it's not the lowest storage you can get. Certainly 512 gigabytes is doable, but it could be better. But thankfully with the micro SD card slot, I believe you can upgrade the storage even if you choose the wrong configuration. Now in terms of the battery life, it seems we'll be seeing the same capacity as the previous generation. However, according to the Samsung newsroom, it appears it'll be quite the significant upgrade. With better power efficiency and cooling capabilities, the battery life will allegedly be far better. On top of that, Charging the thing will be super speedy. Samsung says that using the included 140 watt adapter that comes with a laptop, it can charge to over half its battery capacity in 30 minutes, which is pretty rad, especially if that battery capacity can last it for more than half the day. We'll have to wait and see on that, but it's definitely very promising. And for the operating system, the device will run Windows 11 Home, with an additional myriad of different AI features that Samsung has been proudly touting during its presentation. Though it seems a little ambiguous at the moment to what this will entail in particular, but it probably will be clear as we get closer to the release date and beyond as well. But the device is poised to have a lot of AI integration with for instance, assistance with finding certain information, help with work, and responding to notifications, which is all well and good. If this doesn't come with a subscription fee and is just a feature of Samsung products moving forward, that's very exciting stuff. But we'll just have to wait and see. Let's get on to my verdict. So as you can see, I'm very excited about this laptop. It's not half bad and a solid contender against the other premium ones out there. As you can see, AI is definitely a common buzzword this year and we are definitely seeing it become more integrated within our daily lives, starting with our technology, such as with it making art, helping students with homework, and even being used for YouTube thumbnails. I've seen some of those. So it's definitely revolutionary and part of a new frontier. So a laptop that's capable of utilizing it is good, but beware that it might become a subscription fee and that'd be quite a shame, especially when we're just getting started with it. So we can't just buy these types of devices just for the AI features. So how about the specs in particular? Thankfully, they're solid. The laptop will be able to do pretty much anything you throw at it, especially now with that touchscreen plus dedicated GPUs. I mean, come on, it's pretty exciting. I just honestly wish that the build was a little bit more unique to just show how premium it is. Maybe next year, but overall, solid laptop. Is it right for you? Well, only you can make that judgment call. However, remember, it is a premium laptop, so if you're not going to take advantage of its full power, maybe you should consider the Starter Book 4 model instead. 
I'll talk about that one a little later. But just remember to focus on your needs here. And that was the Galaxy Book 4 Ultra, Samsung's new flagship laptop. What do you think? Is it worth it? Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like C-Rooster. Just take out the terror. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace.